Hi my friends, today I will start a new topic about the game Snowball Speed Amanda, which is a review of ship, especially the Mr. Legendary ship. <coughs> and this time is none other than the producer Labaru. A ship that has a cute appearance, of the inside feels with keyboards and a chimachis, but contain a super cruiser that is both sturdy and delicious. In those keyboards are not with but a pile of heavy nuclear missile weapon with two L size slots and two M size slots, along with a fairly large ammo layer and two quite large units not. It's just a shame that it only has a rather energy. And no more legendary M side engines are not often to help. In terms of equipment, it is a bit better than regular legendary cruiser and comparable to other limited edition legendary cruiser. In terms of skill, the rather cruiser have a very good skill, carrying both offensive and defensive power. It has a two very rest missile weapon skill that is increased ammo penetration by 33%, self penetration by 15%, and skill to do your time by one second. They are the best addition to missile weapon, plus two more damage increasing skill giving it very good stuff. At the same time, it has uh, the ability to be studied thanks to the skill plus 110% ammo and plus 90% happy and 1600% ever spawn. You can also see it can easily have uh, 4000 ammo and nearly 600,000 happy. In addition, it has a flagship skill equivalent to two regular flagship skill combines. In terms of position in the flash, it can stand in the back row position with the main damage or the main row with the start of both resisting and causing them to the missile flash or the cruiser flash or as a flagship in own flash for equipment because it has the ability to reduce real time by one second. Choice weapons which allows a real time as possible. Because the lower the real time the more significant the one second reduce is. So the idea is a missile weapon with a five second real time. With ammo similar saying balance ammo and resistance. Because of the plus 110% ammo skill, we will prioritize more ammo than resistance. We have two ways to equip it depending on its standing position. For the flagship and back row position, its main task is to do down so its for own accuracy increasing equipment is to unit not and balance ammo and resistance by installing ammo into a size slot and one M size slot. The remaining two slots M and S are equipped with resistant equipment. For the main rows, its tax is two balls, dual arms and resist. So Install all ammo into the ammo slot and all the system into the unit slot. Overall, Labrador Cruiser is an extremely wonderful system to use. It's only of the rest cruiser that possesses both a large amount of them and a higher level of studies needs. It is suitable for many positions and many different flags. Not only that, you can initially always during the Christmas events and many upgrade ships without even having to use 
Sean Wallace. Okay, about as my house talks about lab room cruisers, not taken from any issues. Therefore, there may be some incorrect points. Please let me know your opinions. And see you again in the next video.